Welcome into Smoky Mountain Source. Today we're going to talk about the Smoky Mountain Synchronous Firefly. Colloquially known in rural areas as lightning bugs, these tiny flying beetles mesmerize us from a young age. Even today we hold that same reverence. An entire tourism industry has emerged from the complex behavioral patterns of these fireflies. Every year over one million tourists venture out into the forest throughout a dozen countries to experience a firefly light show. These tourists aren't searching for one firefly, but instead for a dazzling light show of epic proportions. The Smoky Mountain Synchronous Firefly Viewing has become one of the most popular firefly experiences in the world. Commencing in May or June, dependent on temperature and soil conditions, the Synchronous Firefly begins its two to three week long annual mating season. During this time, males perform a synchronous light show to attract female mates for the season. Using the Smoky Mountains as a host site, these fireflies serve both as a beautiful representation of natural beauty and also as a significant opportunity for scientists to study and learn more about them. Fireflies are scientifically considered to be a type of beetle. They live the majority of their life in the soil, with only the very end of their lives lived as flying creatures with such an extraordinary superpower. Even though their total lifespan only reaches a month at maximum, they compensate by giving nature something truly special to remember them by. The mating flashes of these fireflies are unique to each species. However, the behavior between species seems to be similar. Males hover one meter or so above the ground and flash, while females typically stay grounded and flash in response. This mesmerizing dance leads to the female finding the right mate for her so that their species may live on and on. In coordination with the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and other entities within the Greater Smoky Mountain region, these synchronous firefly viewings are open to the public. Every year the National Park Service will provide a news release where you can find the current year's information and dates for the synchronous firefly shows. More information related to the viewings will be located on their site, but to summarize, the Park Service offers opportunities for the public to attend through a lottery. The lottery can be applied for and will be dispersed on their website. Since the first scientific recordings of these light shows began in the early 1990s, the academic community has been baffled by the behavior of these organisms. Early studies of this phenomenon theorized that the appeared synchronicity of the fireflies was simply due to well-timed blinks in the human eye or a misrecognition of patterns by the human brain. Subsequent studies have found that synchronicity is not only real but purposefully orchestrated by the fireflies during mating season. It was found that among the most densely populated areas for these fireflies, the Elkmont Forest located in the Smoky Mountain National Park, the fireflies also alter their shows based on terrain. The firefly flashes up to eight times, with each flash lasting a mere 100 to 150 milliseconds. This can occur during their flight time or their time spent on the ground. These fireflies seem to be active for a few hours after sunset during the early summer, creating one of the most surreal experiences a human can share with nature. Most interestingly, the male firefly is synchronized to have a better chance of a female mate recognizing them. Logically, you would think that the firefly that stands out and doesn't synchronize would be the most attractive, but that isn't the case. Females are most attracted to a firefly that is in sync with the rest of the species lighting up. The current thought is that females take in the fireflies as a group, rather than focusing on a single male so that the females can keep track of where the male is as he changes location between flashes. Evolutionarily, the fireflies use the synchronicity of male flashes in order to ensure the propagation of the species amongst such a large mating population. In such a crowded environment, the light show provides a timely opportunity for predators impersonating the firefly species to take advantage. There are several predators associated with the firefly light shows, and they succeed in capturing and feeding on a significant portion of males that enter their prey zone. Orb-weaving spiders seem to be a large number of the predators that are active during the light shows. Male fireflies are often caught in their webs, and even though they continue their flashes, they end up coming prey to these arachnids. Experiments suggest that the spiders are focused on the fireflies because they seem to only have fireflies as prey in their webs. Additionally, other firefly species feed during the light shows as well as other insects. 
Female fireflies are also considered predators during these light shows as they feed on other species of fireflies that they find on leaves and other near-ground flora. Some of these Smoky Mountain fireflies rely on chemical defenses to protect themselves from becoming prey, producing an extremely complex biological and evolutionary environment during the light shows. Characterized as a charismatic beetle, fireflies produce one of the most wonder-inducing natural events in the world. There is a reason why so many locals and tourists make the trip every year to witness such a life-altering experience. Major threats to these fireflies and their light shows are those typical of other planet species. The loss of habitat is due to both soil and local floral alteration. Insecticides and light pollution are two specific threats that directly and somewhat immediately affect the ability of the light shows to be maintained in our current society. While tourism is not considered to be among the top threats to the local fireflies, there are associated risks with allowing tourism among the fireflies. These risks can include habitat loss due to tourism infrastructure, tourism light pollution, and simple trampling of their larvae due to our feet contacting the soil in their environment. Thankfully, we have set a limit to the number of tourists who can visit at a single time because where there is an overcrowding of humans, there are bound to be those who either purposefully or accidentally cause harm to the firefly habitat. Balancing these high-risk situations with the benefits that humans and local economies share is paramount. These local economies usually need the injection of money into their cities and municipalities. Other than the obvious tangible benefits for localities, the intangible benefits for humans are immense. A greater reverence and respect for nature, bonding between nature and humans, and the emotional life-changing experiences the fireflies provide are immensely important to not only the Smoky Mountains, but the world in general. It's never a bad thing when humans share experiences with nature that want them to spread the necessity to conserve as much as we can. Hopefully, the more people who experience these amazing light shows, the more the human species will feel the need to make plans to protect and conserve. We need to give nature the respect it deserves and truly try to give our children and descendants the opportunity to continue enjoying the fireflies and other natural wonders. The worldwide phenomenon that is the Smoky Mountain Synchronous Firefly Viewing is one of those natural wonders that you have to experience once in your lifetime. The unique bonding experience that this light show provides to both adults and children cannot be understated. As humans, we need these events and others like them to remind us of where we came from and where we are going. They allow us to appreciate the world how many of our ancestors did. Even though tourism to these light shows has the potential to permanently damage subsequent shows, we must preserve both the experience and the nature that surrounds it. The hope is that events such as the synchronous light shows will allow humans to bond over a similar experience and push us to protect that experience forever. It can be done not only on a local scale here in the Smoky Mountains, but all over our wondrous planet Earth.